Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to take a look at perforated pipe and why holes point down. And for all those do-it-yourselfers, the homeowners project, it's really important that those holes point down into the gravel in your trench. And I'm going to show you why. So back in the day, they used to use terracotta uh, field tile. And these are one foot sections and they're round and the pipe just butts together. But it's still the same principle today, but we're going to show you the old method. So we've got our trench, we're going to put some gravel in the bottom. A good base. Next, we go ahead and spread that gravel so the pipe can set level in the trench. Now we're going to lay our old terracotta. It just sits in the trench on top of the gravel and butts together. The pipe just sits in the trench on top of the gravel and there's seams. And the way the system works is that as water comes down from above, it's not going to drop in here. It's going to go through all the gravel, flood up into the seams of each section of pipe and the pipe carries it away. The water also flows through the gravel. So you can see that if you have your holes, today's pipe has holes in it, and if you have that holes pointing upward, that water has to flood all the way up to here before it begins to flow. Granted, some water does flow through gravel, but we'll cover this up and give it a test. We're gonna add gravel just like it would be down in the ground. Next, we're going to simulate the rain with our garden hose. Just let it run right here. I'm just going to stick it down in the ground so you can see. So we've got water running into the trench. And in just a few seconds, we've got water running into the trench and you can see that water coming out of the pipe. It's flooding up through the gravel and it's also coming through the gravel underneath as well, but most of the water comes through the seam of the pipe. Okay, now we're going to simulate it with today's pipe and you can see there's holes on the one side of the pipe. This is the perforation. These holes point down. We'll set that into the trench. As it rains, water comes down through the gravel and floods up into your pipe. And it will enter those holes which are on the bottom. If those holes are pointing upward, that water has to rise all the way up here before it can enter the hole. So we put our holes pointing down and now we're going to cover it up with gravel. Now let's just simulate by putting our garden hose out here and see how long that water, how long it takes for the water to get through the pipe, through the gravel. Pretty good rainfall. We're adding water to the gravel. The water goes down through the gravel to the bottom of the trench and will eventually begin to flow. It flows through the gravel first because there are voids in the gravel. But as we add more water directly, it will start to flow through the pipe.
And that's why holes point down. You can see the water coming through the holes. Floods up from the bottom of the trench into the pipe and is carried away. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.